Hi everyone, I am so excited because I'm speaking with author Hannah Mary McKinnon and we are talking about her new new book. She's got it right in front of her. She's going to show us the cover. Her Secret Son comes out May 28th. Show us the other real cover, like the real real. There we go. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hannah, I was finishing this book last night, like late last night, and I was like, I have to wait to talk to her till tomorrow. Like, this book is crazy. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. Crazy. Is, that, is, that, is that good? Oh my gosh, it's so good. And you know what okay. I realized is that last time we talked, when we talked about the neighbors, right? It was kind of in the yeah. beginning. And then all of a sudden, the neighbors just blew up. I mean, sir, you really, like, you... I couldn't believe it. There were, I couldn't go anywhere without seeing the neighbors all over social media. And I was so happy for you because I felt oh, like I was there you. in the beginning. And now I feel like I'm there in the beginning again because this book is, when this comes out, like, it's going to be crazy. People are going to go crazy. That's, that's well, what I'm <laughs> Fingers crossed people like it as much as, much as you oh. have. That's fantastic. Oh, Thank my you gosh. so much. I know. And that's why, like, I'm like, let's not, let's not tell them anything. Like we'll, we'll talk about the first chapter and then we won't tell them <laughs> anything else because I okay. didn't know, I, I don't like to read ahead and I don't think I saw anything anyway that was any giveaway, but because while I'm reading it, I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then the ending. Okay. So we're going to talk beginning, beginning. This is okay. how you start off. They say the lucky ones experience an incredible life-defining moment, a moment they can that they can point back to as the second everything changed. Yes. I love that yes. sentence. Did you work really hard on that or did you just like did it just like flow you, off? You know, you know I had to, um I I had a very 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 short first chapter at the very beginning and it was one sentence and it was I should have remembered the salt, wow. and that was it. But then it became well. I, I wasn't sure if that would work, if it wouldn't, and I and I actually took it out and, and felt in the end that it that it wasn't needed. But um, I've had a couple of of those life defining moments, predominantly for for the better. Um, the night I met my husband on the internet completely by accident. 20 years ago, um, yeah, when a friend came to install the internet at my house, it was the first night I had internet, this was dial-up modems and choosing whether to be online or on the phone, you couldn't do both at the same time. <laughs> right. You remember that? Yeah, yeah I do. The reaching of the modem, oh, it was awful. And um, that night, this, this friend of mine installed not only the internet, but also ICQ, and he said, I've got, the, there's this thing called uh, ICQ, it's a chat room, and I said, What's the chat room? I had no idea what this right. was. It was 99 in my defense. And that was the night I met my husband completely by accident, my husband to be completely by accident. Yeah. So, and we got married. He was in Canada. I was in Switzerland. We, we got married um, five months after meeting online, 10 weeks after meeting face to face. It was crazy. So I think that was, that was playing in the back of my mind that you have these these moments, these instances where something happens that it's really a fluke, mm -hmm. but it defines your life moving forward from that point on. So for me, it worked out really well. <laughs> yeah. For him, you know, for poor Josh, not so for much. Poor Josh, not so much. No, not so much. no. But, you know, the buildup, I mean, first of all, he has to live with, and I don't, you know, the first chapter is not a giveaway. We can stick to the first chapter and be yes. okay because it's out there. But the, um, you know, like for the forgetting the salt thing, like that's all I kept thinking about, like as I'm reading this and, and those conversations you don't have. Yes. Like, yes. it was like, how brilliant was that of you? Like all these kind of, he's like thinking like there are conversations you just don't have because you don't think you need them. Yes. <laughs> right? But but it turns out maybe you should. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should know a little yes, bit. Yes, yes, you know? yes. I mean, in the the in the first chapter, um, for people watching from home, Josh is at a, he's a landscaper, very solid guy, salt of the earth type guy, and I loved writing him. And um, he he's at a client, his phone keeps going off and he ignores it and then he gets this phone call from his neighbor who tells him there's been an accident and 
he initially thinks it's it could be his stepson Logan, but it turns out it's his partner Grace. And um, one of the last things I remember writing that one of the last conversations that they had was. Um, she said to him, don't worry about the garbage, I'll take it out, I've got the day off. And then that's the last thing she says to him because she, she falls on the steps that he was supposed to salt and, and didn't and, and dies. And that is something that terrifies me too, you know. When, when my husband leaves the house, I always make a point of giving him a kiss and telling him that I love him because you just never know. And that's horrible to say that. Right. But but I think maybe writing that kind of exposed some of some of that fear that that can happen at any with the kids too you know it, it, you just never know so that was that it was quite an emotional book to write I have to say because oh, you Josh loses his partner who he loves so much and 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 that was that was pretty tough to to write especially the scenes then with Logan who loses his mom yeah um, we have three boys so as trying to put myself in their shoes if something happened to me how how would that be for them how would they be able to work through that how would it be for my husband and especially then she has secrets obviously so uh <laughs> makes it all worse and compounds it so yeah it was it was a very emotional book to write I have to say well I love your storytelling though just like with the neighbors I mean thank you I love how it unfolds and it's like it is this and it's not you know I read a lot of thrillers that are just dark, you know, like it's not yes. dark, you know, it's like, you know, like you said, Josh is like this guy, he's got it all together, you know, and all of a sudden one day his life changes. And then the way you unfold the story so slowly, like, and then all of a sudden you're like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but you're kind of like the way you build it and build it. I just love that. And as a reader, like we enjoy that kind of storytelling, you know, it's like, you know, like I kept thinking, okay, well, I know what's going to happen. Okay. So maybe this happened or maybe, you know, like you said, she's got secrets and you're like, you think you know those secrets, right? But yes. you don't know those secrets. No. <laughs> Well, it was interesting because in the, in the neighbors, everybody everybody has secrets. Everybody had secrets, and they are revealed as throughout the book with the chapter stripping from from past to present. But in her secret son, this is from one point of view, and that was interesting to do just yeah. one point of view, particularly a male point of view, because in the neighbors I had uh, Nate's point of view ca uh, chapters. And I loved writing those, but her secret son is exclusively from Josh's point of view, and he's a dude. So I had to be able to do that for the whole book, have a man's point of view. And in this instance, he's not the one with the secrets. It's his partner, Grace, who's died, so he can't <laughs> ask her anything. So he has to go on this quest. So I tried very hard to, to have the reader... Um, experience or, or learn of these secrets as Josh was, was learning them exactly. too. So that was that was really fun to do because it's almost almost a bit of a quest really because he has to find out what all of these secrets are and what's going on and 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 what's happened and who Grace really is essentially. Right. Um, and and that was that was that was fun to write. That was that was interesting to do. I I, I really liked um, writing his perspective. Yeah, and I used to always talk about the neighbors like to other authors. I'd say, you know, there was one book that changed the way I went out to my car and looked at my neighbors. <laughs> it was your uh -oh. <laughs> I'm like, how well do I know that? I see them every day. Do I know them? How well do I know them? What's really going on behind those twitching curtains? <laughs> yeah, and now with this one, I'm like, because I, I have a boyfriend that lives with me, and I'm like, hmm, maybe, you know, mm. we, don't, we, we don't have a lot. Let's see. What are some questions I could ask? You know? <laughs> so you like always change the way I look at people, you know, like you, you, uh -oh. that <laughs> you, it gets deep in my psyche, you know? And then, okay. I also highlighted the last sentence of the first chapter because I love that's always, especially in these kind of books. And you wrote, except that worse, far, far worse was still to come. 
And then you're like, what? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, Josh thinks she's having a bad day, and then it just gets so much worse. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was like, but what could be worse? He just had a, ba- a really bad day. How is it going to get any worse than that? So, you know, you keep us readers just going like, what? you know, like, yes, give me more. And that is always really, really important, you know. Oh, good. I'm so pleased. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't wait. I'm like, okay, so we have like six weeks till the release date. Till yes. everybody's out there, and I'm like, I can't wait. I can't wait to be like, so you read the book? So you read the book? <laughs> I can't wait to, to hear what people think because I know that in um, in the neighbors, some people some people like the char- like the book and like the characters, some of the characters at least, and some people like the book even though they didn't like the, some of the characters particularly, and some people didn't like the book and didn't like the characters, right. and that's all part of part sort of, of of being an author. You you can't please everyone, nor should you try, because in the end that will just fall apart. But I I think I think with her secret son, because Josh is a pretty solid yes. salt of the earth guy, he's. He's he's a good he's a good guy he really is and he's looking after Logan. I'm I'm ho- I'm hoping that people will like Josh as much as I did because yeah. <laughs> he really was a lot of fun to write. Oh yeah, and you know what? I always stay off those reviews on Goodreads and Amazon because I want to leave rebuttals. Like if somebody says something and, and I'm like and they make a, a statement that I'm like, did you read the book? Are you sure? Did you understand where they were? <laughs> and so it's always better for my health to mental health to just stay away from reviews. Just stay away. I always feel like they don't. If they give a criticism, I'm like, did you read? But did you? And you didn't understand that. Then you didn't get it, right? Like. <laughs> People are entitled to their opinions. They are. You know, I don't like every every book I I read or movie I watch or yes. or, or song I hear on the radio. So yeah. so I think as as authors we just we just get used. And I know I know some authors never set foot or eyes, as it were, on Goodreads. They they never read any of the re, the the reviews. Yeah. But I I like reading the reviews because. Um, I mean, I love it when they're great. Obviously, that yeah. that's one for the writer's soul, and and I think a lot of writers are riddled with a lack of self confidence. So it's nice to see that that people have connected with with what we've written. Um, but equally so, the bad ones make me want to do better. Yeah. They make they keep me grounded too, um, and they make it they, they in a way they validate the good ones because if. If all of the reviews were five star reviews, then people are going to go, "Oh, come on, you know, yeah. that's just that's just not possible." So, so as long as it's a majority of, of good reviews, then I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so you're out there, you're promoting this book, and but I know that you probably are writing another one, right? Well, the, the another one is done. Actually, yes. Wow. Yes, the next one is done. So it's it's currently with my edit on the second round of edits. So we, we, we do a big round, what we call the structural edits. So those are the big things of maybe adding a point of view character or taking one out, which was the case in Her Secret Son, because I slipped another one in there and it, it just wasn't working. Um, so we've done those structural reviews. It's back with my editor for the hopefully more minor reviews, but it's done. Wow. And that one, that one's coming out next year. So I don't, I don't have a, an official title yet. We've, we've bounced some titles around, and the next one for 2020 is about half sisters. So half sisters who don't know that the other exists until one finds out, and she decides that her half sister is everything and has everything that she should have everything she is everything that that she would want to be and she has everything that she would want and so she infiltrates her life not telling her that she's her half sister so wow. yeah that I'm excited about that one too. That's that's a fun one. So okay, so if you're promoting this one, the other one is an edit. Like, are you then working? Like, do you go ahead or do you just like wait? I go, I go ahead. Yes, I do. Uh, I find it very difficult not, not to not do it, not, not to write. So um, her secret son, I'm promoting. The uh, the next one, book four for next year, is is pretty well done. There'll be some edits for sure, but but otherwise the big things are done. Uh, and I just sent the plot or an outline for book five to my agent last night. So we'll see we'll see what happens with that one. So I'm excited I'm excited about that. But they're all in the family 
um, domestic suspense yeah. drama arena that there's there's suspense and and but it generally comes from the the relationship between um, the the family members right. rather than um, like you said a very dark yeah. psycho in the kitchen with a knife type thing, or, or a police procedural or something like that that's not that's not the type of books and I write I, I tend to what I try and do is put ordinary people. Right. into extraordinary circumstances and and see how they how they manage see how they cope that's really that's really the that's really the the crux of, of what I write yeah and I guess if the ideas are there right like if the ideas just keep coming it's hard to like put them on the you know you want to you want to get into it right away which is awesome because I love your ideas <laughs> so. oh thank you <laughs> I cannot wait. I can't wait till this comes out. Show the cover one more time because I want to look at it. I mean, I've only seen it digitally, but um, yeah, I mean, that cover is just so good. Yeah, Yeah, that's crazy. Yes, yes, I'm very happy. So that was um, a a new cover, actually, because we did have one ready to go that is still out there with a boy on on a swing. And it was deemed not, it just didn't, it just didn't sit, it didn't fit well, I guess, with the, the, the bookstore community and whatnot and so they went back to the drawing board literally and uh, and came up with this one and I'm, I'm really happy with that one I, well you I know really I always go one. for not just the picture but um the colors and I love the mute because the neighbors cover like I love that cover so much Do yes I have that one here there we go that yeah, was like, this, yeah, yeah oh my gosh I love that cover because they did such a good job with that green You know, so I'm a colors person. I like to see what colors they use. And because, you know, there's a science to it. They know what attracts their eyes. So, you know, I know that the people working on those book covers know what they're doing. They know how to get us to be like, oh, my God, that's amazing. Absolutely. Let me (laughs) let me pick that up. And then and then the blurb on on the back, of course. Yes. Uh, Yes, that exactly. to the It's the cover um, that, that draws me in as well. And and the team at um, Harbour Collins, Mira Harlequin, they they they're just fantastic. Oh, they're they so are. in tune with yeah. with the market and and what works and and the ideas they come up with yeah. for all of the books are just they're just extraordinary. Yeah. I I can't draw to save my life. I can't even manage a stick man. Well, I can manage a stick man, but that's about that's about it. Yeah. So I'm always in awe of, of people who can draw and design and, and come up with these things. It's it's really really extraordinary. And like you said, it's an art. It's a science. Yeah, it really, it, is. It really is. And I think about that because I go into bookstores just to look at them, like the bindings yes. and everything. That's just- yeah. Yes, 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 yes. A bit like wine. Yeah, Sometimes right. I'll use a wine based on the label because I don't know. <laughs> right. Well, it was so much fun to talk to you. I'm so happy I'm that we too. got to chat again. And I'm going to put, I'll put the IndieBound link if they have it out yet. They may have it out. We'll see. Um, I'll add it. I'll add it later if they don't have it out yet, just so everybody can go to their local bookstores because we like to yes. support the local bookstores. And I will put Amazon because you can get the Kindle or you can pre-order yeah. right now. So yeah. you know, yes, Kindle, Kobo, iBooks, yes, the whole Google Play. It's it's all it's, all. it's it's, it's going to be everywhere. everywhere. So That's I'm excited. Right. I'm really excited. Yes, and then I'll put your website all your social links so people can find you. And um, I can't wait till next year because we get to talk again when the next yes. comes out. <laughs> yes, we will. Anytime. I'll be ready. Oh, you know where to find me and I can't wait. So I wish you all the luck with this. Have fun. I know this is just going to blow up. I can't wait to see what it does. And I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you very, very much. I'll speak to you soon. Yes. Have a great day. You too. Okay, bye. Bye.